my viewers and today I am back with a new topic C value and C value paradox. C value is the amount of total amount of DNA which is uh, measured either in picograms or number of base pairs, number of base pairs per haploid set of chromosome. Yani ek haploid set of chromosome mein total kitna DNA present hai that value is called C value. C value is a very important term and this term was proposed by Swift in 1950. We expected that the size of the genome is directly proportional to the complexity of the organism. It is very simple. The amount of the complex organism will be the amount of the size of the In other words, we can say simpler the organism, smaller the genome. Complex the organism, larger the genome. That, uh, you can define it in this way. Size of the genome is directly proportional to the complexity of an organism. organism can be predicted by knowing the size of the genome or size of the genome can be predicted by knowing the complexity of an organism. More complex organism this is size of the genome and this is complexity of an organism and the graph is like that. Jaisa jaisa complexity badhti jati hai, genome ka size bhi badhta jata hai. Bohat simple hai, jaisa ki agar hum compare kare, to elephant ka size bada hai, elephant ka jo genome hoga wo bhi jada hoga as compared to human beings. Lekin ye concept later studies mein is concept ko puri tarah se galat paya gaya. In 1970s ek nai term aai that is called C value paradox. Paradox means opposite. Yani ki jo C value hai wo define karta hai ki size bada hoga agar organism complex hai. Genome ka size chota hoga agar organism simple hai. Jabki paradox means opposite. Yani ki जीनोम के साइज का कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी से कोई भी मतलब नहीं है या वो साइज को रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं करता है तो आप कह सकते हैं देयर इज अ वेरी लार्ज डिस्पैरिटी बिटवीन द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड साइज ऑफ द जीनोम और इसी को कहा गया सी वैल्यू पैराडॉक्स सी वैल्यू पैराडॉक्स डिफाइंस दैट देयर इज नो रिलेशन देयर इज नो डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन complexity of an organism and the size of the genome. For example, अगर आप salamander का आपने पढ़ा होगा, salamander जो है, वो organism human being से comparison काफी simple है. लेकिन उसमें 40 times ज़्यादा genome पाया जाता है as compared to homo sapiens. Similarly, in case of frog, frog has 7 times more genome than human beings. So, this means there is no direct relationship, there is no linear relationship between complexity of an organism and size of the genome. This is called C-value paradox. C-value paradox term was used by C.A. Thomas in 1971 when repetitive sequence of DNA was discovered. Yani, ki jo DNA hai, wo बहुत सारी non coding sequence से भी बना होता है यानी कि eukaryotic genome consists of two parts coding and non uh, coding DNA and non coding DNA and that non coding DNA causes the variation in size in different organism किसी भी non coding sequence ज़्यादा है तो वहाँ पर जीनों का साइज ज़्यादा हो जाएगा और कोडिंग जो डीएनए है जैसे एग्जाम्पल में ह्यूमन बीइंग्स को कंसीडर कर सकते हैं इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ओनली टू परसेंट डीएनए इस 
coding DNA or protein synthesizing DNA. Rest 98% DNA is repetitive sequence or non-coding DNA. So C value paradox is opposite to the C value which defines that there is no direct relationship uh, between genome size and uh, complexity of an organism in case of eukaryotes. Or future may a big night term introduced in 2001 that is C value enigma that is called C value enigma. Or ye term C value paradox say ज्यादा एडॉप्टेड टर्म है या आप कह सकते हैं कि इस टर्म की जगह पर अब जो टर्म यूज की जा रही है दैट इज सी वैल्यू एनिग्मा और सी वैल्यू एनिग्मा वही एक्सप्लेन uh, करता है दैट डीएनए कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स कोडिंग डीएनए एंड नॉन कोडिंग डीएनए और इसी की वजह से साइज में जीनोम के साइज में वेरिएशंस आते हैं C value enigma represents an updated term over C value paradox and this term was coined by a Canadian biologist T. Rion Gregory or in one he explained kiya ki ye jo puzzle hai ki genome ka size or complexity mein kya relationship hai usko explain kiya ja sakta hai in terms of coding and non-coding DNA. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Or this topic, if you are doing NET, then it is a very important topic. In the next video, we will see you with a new topic. Thank you.